Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to visualize the results we got from running OpenFast. I have the uh, OC4 Deep Sea Wind semi submersible configuration uh, file, the .fst file, or running the analysis of a semi submersible uh, wind turbine. I have the FST file open here. You have to make a few changes in this FST file to uh, visualize the results. It's pretty simple actually, you have to go to the visualization. Uh, section at the bottom you have to put two here and the wrvtk section and the vtk type uh, this section this input you have to put one for uh, recording or for uh, showing the surfaces then you have to choose your uh, frames per second uh, just i just chose 15 uh, you can choose 30 or 60 it's up to you uh, if you choose 30 or 60, uh, your video will be a little better, but it will take a little more time to uh, make it into a, a AVI or a, a video file. So for now, I've just chosen 15. And uh, that's it, actually. Uh, then you have to run this .fst file. And one more important thing, uh, in hydrodyne file, you have to input the wave mode uh, as one for regular uh, waves, or you can choose uh, John Sapp, uh, Pearson Moscow Spectrum, and you have to give the HS and TP values, uh, basically the wave frequency and period, and the wave height, those values uh, before running this, else we won't be able to visualize the waves uh, uh, in, the, in the visualization. So uh, that's it. Now we run FST file. Uh, I've shown you guys how to uh, how to do the how to run the uh, OpenFast uh, software uh, in the previous video. So you have to just run it, and you will get these files here in the v inside uh, folder named VTK. These are the input files. It can the data of each time step, and we'll be using these files to visualize uh, the results. For visualization, you need uh, a software called Paraview. Uh, it's a free software. You can basically download it from uh, from the Paraview website. So I have it here. I have already added the VTK uh, files. To add the VTK files, you have to go to File, Open, and in here you have to choose uh, the surface files. Blade 1 surface, Blade 2 surface, Blade 3 surface, and uh, the, the hop surface, the nacelle surface, seabed surface, still water surface is not actually needed, uh, tower surface, and a wave surface. So you have to choose all of them here, and uh, you can see the uh different surface files here and you have to click apply so all the required mm, surfaces are here now we need to uh run the animation so you if you look here you can see uh, the max is 480 480 time steps and uh if you press play it will it will start to run uh, it's a little slow in the beginning then it'll the the wind turbine will start to run depending on the inflow speed and the other inputs you are given uh for the simulation so for now we'll just pause it so you have the uh, visualization here uh now we will add an elevation to the wave surface so right click add filter you can find the elevation filter here so we will uh, see the elevation, the z-axis, click the z-axis here and press apply. Here we go. We have the elevation here. If you press play here, you can see the, uh, the wave is moving slowly. Uh, if you go here, double click here and then you can change the color scheme. It's up to you to choose what kind of color scheme you want. So basically that's it. We have the visualization of our wind turbine. So we have a 40, 480 time step. So now the wind turbine is just starting up. It will slowly uh, start turning. 
uh, depending on the wind speed and all the inputs you are given uh, in the open fast simulation uh, this can get faster but anyway this is the way you uh, you do do the visualization of a, a wind turbine now we have the visualization of uh, of our simulation also you have to save it as a, as an animation file you have to go here file save animation so you have to save it as a let's say i just put example as an mp4 file click ok so it will uh, show you the options uh, nothing to change here for now so just click ok and it will start to save the animation our animation file is ready so this is the animation of the simulation uh, we did in open fast uh, you can change the uh, time steps and make the video longer you can change the fps in the fst file and depending on that you can make the wind turbine run faster uh, it's up to you to change the settings thank you